Carpenter here at 3. We've all seen those free community libraries where you take a book, leave a book. Well, a homeowner in Davis Islands decided to create one for dogs, but instead of books, it's take a stick, leave a stick. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd went to check it out. Well, you can say Ruby here renews her library card every day at the dog library on Davis Island. It's fun for the pups and a sense of camaraderie for their owners. Rachel Ammons and her dog Dexter are always eager to see what new sticks may have arrived since their last visit to the dog library. Everybody wants a stick. What about that one? He loves to stop here at <laughs> Miss Tammy's house. How many sticks does he get at a time? As many as will fit in his mouth. <laughs> Tammy Correa created the library in her front yard for two main reasons. She's a dog lover and it's a great way to meet your neighbors. And when they're walking their dogs by, they actually break free and run up to the door and the neighbor's like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, no, that's great. I'm glad they love me. Just met some of these folks here and it's incredible camaraderie. It really is, friendship. Pe people you may have never met without the dog library. No, never. But you might be surprised to learn that Tammy doesn't even own a dog. I'm a disabled veteran and it's just therapeutic for me as well. Some pups are quick to make a selection, while others take their time browsing. She's still young, so she's still learning how to read. She <laughs> couldn't read it, wasn't quite sure what it was, but she loves sticks. Tammy is always looking for the perfect length, width, and bark when it comes to adding to her collection. She even gets sticks imported from off the island. So my friends that live out in the country after a storm or they just go out in the woods, they bring me their sticks because they're sticks that you just can't find in the local neighborhood. And Tammy even has plans to put up lights, expanding library hours for those late evening dog walks. And I could bet more people are doing this in their own yard because they saw you do it. They are and they'll they'll text me or Facebook me or find me on next door and they'll say, do you mind if I do it? And I'm like, oh no, oh she got a stick. <laughs> The more the merrier. On Davis Island, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.